the tools should not drive us how to use them. We should have a mindset, we should have a process, and then we should use the tools to get maximum out of the BIM and the workflow. I, we don't want to create a debate between like Archicad and Revit users. You know that we are more um, towards Revit and you know, like we also participated a lot of like BIM courses uh, and for from Graphisoft and we do deliver um, uh, Archicad, um, you know, like uh, services as well. But the question over here is that it's not about which is better tool, but to understand really and truly where Archicad can kick in a lot and where it's very powerful. So can you to this, tell me a little bit in, on those aspects. Yes, um, I guess again, it, the question comes back to the purpose again, but there are certain areas which Archicad is, is really excelling. And these parts are typically the early stages of the design when you need a lot of freedom and um, when you need to come up with a lot of different variations, integrations, for example, with parametric designs, with Rhino Grasshopper, connection with um, with integrated parts. So whenever you create, for example, a Rhino Grasshopper code of, of a high-rise building, which is like really unique one, and you want to transfer it to a BIM model because at, at the end of the project or at certain stages, you need to deliver BIM deliverables. Um, this is a, one thing when, which is really flawless in, in Archicad. Also, there are um, opportunities in Archicad to integrate with other solutions <clears throat> because of this open BIM um, initiative. Um, and we can accept a lot of um, incoming pre-made objects uh, that is available in the market. So there is a huge library around that you can can just bring in and, and you can use it for further parts. The documentation part, the, doc the documentation capabilities of, uh, of Articad is again, really, really powerful. You, you can be compliant with the standards. You can product a lot of, you can create a lot of um, different deliverables uh, coming from Archicad with a single click. And also you can detail out things pretty much uh, to, um, uh, it's hard to say in the LOD level or high to say in the scale level, but <clears throat> whatever it is considered as one to 20, one to five um, scale or also in LOD 350, LOD 400 again, um, Archicad is really flexible and um, is pushing uh, those limits for for modeling and being being able to deliver these um, freedom to to the architects who is design who are designing uh, the projects. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.